This is the practice test for CSCI 201, practice test number three, and the first items have to do with fonts. We want to change some of the characteristics of our font, and that happens in the font file over here. Let's double click on it, and we get this XML file, and we're looking for some tags in here. We want to change the name of the font from Courier New to Verdana. So we just replaced Courier New. Oops, I went too far. I gotta leave that angle bracket in there. And we want Verdana is the font name. And for the font size down here, we want 20. And we're not gonna mess with spacing or kerning, but we are gonna change the style. And that's between the style tags. And what we want for that is we want bold, comma, italic. And I made a mistake there, and it's not gonna recognize that if I don't fix it. And note the comments here. Uh, it says these are case sensitive. So uh, actually a smart way to do that might have been just to copy this to the clipboard doing a control C and then go down here and paste it in with a control V. You didn't see any change now because I typed the same thing on top of it. But that might be one way to make sure that you type it in correctly every time. So uh, that's all we have to do with the font. We may have to draw a font later on, but as far as setting it up, that's all we have to do so far. Now the next thing is so we can close out of this file and yes we want to save the changes and then the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, do some stuff with enumerated types. We want to declare an enumerated data type called game state. So if it's going to be enumerated it starts with enum, E-N-U-M and then the game state is going to be the name of this enumerated type and it's going to have the values splash screen comma playing comma game over okay and then we're going to declare a variable of that type well the type is game state and the name of the variable is going to be game state with a lowercase g at the beginning and then in initialize we want to let's go down to initialize and someplace in here we want to set the um, game state variable with a lowercase g equal to and then just hit enter and a dot and it will come up with our options type s for splash screen that's all you need to do put a semicolon in the end and now you've got it done then in initialize we want to initialize the size of the array to 10 um, so the array is Luke and whoops I did not I skipped a step we need to declare a variable called loop that's an array of sprite struct. So the type is going to be sprite struct, but it's going to be an array, so I put square brackets in, and then the name of the variable is loop, semicolon. So that says I'm going to use a variable called loop, but I actually have to allocate some memory for it, and so this is where the memory allocation takes place. Loop equals um, new sprite struct 10 semicolon. So that'll give me 10 sprite structs called Luke. So I've got an array of place to put 10 of those. And we will stop there with this video and then continue with video number two.